So I just listened to this video. I'll put the link in the comments. I just listened to this girl while I washed the dishes and I thought, wow, I'd never had anybody explain my life to me more perfectly, more succinctly, and in more detail than this young lady has done. And I'm like, wow. If only I had known this when I was 18, 19, 20, 21. My life would have went way different. Um, yep. But I, I, I feel like people tried to show me aspects of this throughout my life. Good friends. They tried to show me, but they didn't have all the pieces. They had a little piece. They're like, no, this isn't right. Like, why are you doing this? Like, what is this about? And it actually will get to t be turned oftentimes against the scapegoat as if the scapegoat is so arrogant that they believe they know what's best for everybody, which is why they run around doing everything for everybody. We're so stuck up and full of ourselves that we think you guys can't do it. It's like, I'm sorry, what? What? I mean, and then the rage comes. Are you fucking kidding me? You people are falling all over the place, falling apart, setting shit on fire, and I'm running around fixing it, fixing it, fixing it. And you, you're calling me an arrogant, controlling asshole for trying to make sure that my house isn't burning down around my fucking ears because of what you people are doing or not doing that you should be doing. And they're like, yeah, you're just an arrogant fucking bitch. You think you're so smart. You know how to do it. Ain't nobody can't do nothing but you. But by all means, do it. But this is the thing. They do or don't do things that make it dangerous for the scapegoat. Like, I, for instance, burning the house down. You know what I mean? Like, uh, stupid shit. Um, scapegoats are scapegoated after they're scapegoated after they're scapegoated. When I was a kid and I heard about, you know, some other family and an older child breaking away and running away and not contact, I'm just thinking, wow. And they were always talked about, like they were a piece of shit. How could they do that to their parents? And I'm just thinking... Yeah, it's pretty wild. I wish I, I wonder if I'd ever have the nerve to do that, you know, but I never thought that I would want to because I loved and worshipped my parents, literally worshipped the ground they walked on. They would deny that if they were still alive, my mom is, but they would deny it. No, she didn't. She was this, that, and the other. No, I wasn't. I hung on their every word. The scapegoats know. We know. We know they're full of shit. Why did they do it? I don't know. My brain cannot wrap around why you would adopt somebody else's child and treat them that way. I don't got, yeah. I mean, it's, it's almost understandable when it's your own kid because you could have accidentally gotten pregnant and you don't want to kill your baby. You don't get an abortion. You go on with your life thinking, I'm going to raise this, but I love my kid. It was an accident. I mean, sorry, but you weren't planning on having this kid. So I could see how it might be pretty annoying for some. To have a kid that they didn't plan on having. You got to go through a tremendous amount of red tape and shit to adopt a child. And if you did that, I think you should treat that kid really fucking well. If you can. I mean, as well as you can. Think about it. I mean, what kind of nerve? I would never have the nerve or the arrogance to adopt somebody else's child. Thinking I could do a better job than a natural parent. Only because I know that I'm fucked up from the way I was raised. And I'm like, I, can, I can't. I can barely. I shouldn't have had my own kids. But uh, God's the author and finisher of life and faith and all that, isn't he? So if he didn't want me to have them, I guess I wouldn't have had them. But I tried real hard. And I know that I succeeded at not scapegoating or golden childing any of my kids. I know that I did that much. I'm taking credit. I didn't do that. Uh, I did a lot of other stuff that was that was really sad uh, for them, being is that I could not understand that I was a, a lifelong scapegoat, and I could not grasp that my behavior of putting out everybody's fires in their lives and everybody around me, I, they, I, they couldn't understand that. They, I think they viewed that sometimes as I didn't care about them, I wasn't spending time with them, but I thought I was showing them how to be a good Christian. I... I and for them, like, if they were to argue me about that with me, I'd be like, "How? why is it that every explanation I give as to why I was doing something is a lie? I mean, doesn't that sound reasonable to you? I mean, that I'm, I'm a Christian, I want to serve others. I mean, does that not 
and it was joyfully. I, I love to make people feel like they were cut a break and because the world sucks so much. And so I'm lying about that. They're like, yeah, you were lying. I, what? Like, I, re I do recall my first husband telling me one time, he said, Karen, um, I've come to the conclusion that every decision that any person that's ever lived makes is solely selfish, is based on a self-serving reason. You put gas in your wife's car because you want her to freaking suck your dick. Or, you know, you want every single thing you do is for personal gain. That's what he told me. I should have remembered that he said that thinking that's what he's doing. Obviously, if he's saying he thinks every human being ever born, every decision they make is for personal gain solely and for no other reason whatsoever. I was like, now, if that's not a narcissist, a malignant narcissist telling you the truth for once, I don't know what is. So, yeah, um, I, I don't know why. When I try to explain myself of why I'm doing something, I don't know why my adult children would think that I'm lying about the reason why. I mean, because I'm like digging deep. I'm going into psychology. I'm digging deep trying to find out why. Why am I doing this? Why? 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 I'll tell them why. And they're like, nah, it wasn't it. It's because you're an arrogant bitch. It just wants everybody to think you're cool. What? <laughs> Do you know me? Have you ever met me? I mean, my God, I'm so open about everything, which is really terrible to do with your kids when they're small because they don't have the maturity to understand what you're saying or in some of it's none of their business anyway. And yada, yada, yada. I get that now, but all I had to go on at the time was how I felt as a kid and how I saw things. I want, I needed my parents to be honest with me the way that I was with my kids because of the weird shit I was going through. They weren't necessarily going through that weird shit. So it wouldn't have been appropriate. It would have been more appropriate. Like I'm saying in my case, if my parents would have been more open with me, but they weren't. And every one of my thoughts was stupid. You're stupid. For asking a question? I mean, I'm sorry. They just pay attention and you'll, you'll figure it out. I'm, well, I did. I paid attention. I figured it out. I figured out that I was, and I let myself be brainwashed and programmed and groomed right into martyrdom. Ah! Because I love people. Uh, and the girl did point out a lot of reason we do things is so we don't feel guilty, not because we want to do them. I didn't think there was anything wrong with that. I mean, I didn't see anything wrong with that. I thought the guilt was appropriate if I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Right? So it wasn't like I did it solely so I didn't feel guilty. I did it because I wanted to do a task for someone or help someone. Thinking that, you know, and if I didn't do it and I felt guilty, it was because I was supposed to do it. How does that not make sense to people? Oh, you did it because you just don't want people to think you're a terrible person. No, I did it because I thought if I didn't, I would be a terrible person. Eureka! <laughs> anyway, have a great day, YouTube.